what is up everybody the hunter gt with the hunter gt.com that's right go check out the website what is going on today we are out at the lake you can't see it though because the fog has rolled in i almost died on the way up here i almost hit a coyote number one number two multiple idiots didn't have their lights on for some reason and the fog was dense enough you see that rock right here in front of me you you couldn't see it you you couldn't see it and people are driving like 70 miles an hour. It's crazy. It's crazy. So the sun comes out for a minute and then the fog, little patch of fog rolls through and then the sun comes out and the patch of fog rolls through. See over here? It's not so foggy this way. You can see some of the water there. But over this way, it's pretty foggy. It's, it's, it's a little eerie. You know, you can hear the little mini waves lapping up in the fog and stuff, you know? It's almost like a creature out there maybe. The Mist, have you guys seen that movie? Terrible ending. XP Orcs, the detector of the day. Want to pick one of these bad boys up? Who are you going to contact me? Of course, the Hunter GT at gmail.com. XP Deus 2 on the way. Taking pre orders for those and the new Nocta Macro Legend. Get in line. I have a feeling that there are going to be back orders galore. And I have a feeling until summer. It's going to be until summer until the Deus and the Deus 2 and the Legend are readily available. Um, I'm hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I eat my words. Hopefully I am totally off base. But yeah, that's what I'm assuming. So if you want to get a Deus 2 or an Orcs right here, I have these in stock. But the Deus 2 or the Legend, I'm telling you, get in line now. Um, you might not want to wait for the reviews and you might want to just take a chance. I will be reviewing both though. So if you want to wait, you know the deal. Hunter GT will be reviewing the Deus 2 and the Legend. But today's all about the Orcs. So without further ado, why don't you shut your face the Hunter GT. Let's go find us some lake stuff. Alright, first find with the Orcs. We're getting close. We're getting close already. 1966. If that was a 64, it would be silver. And I hit a 64 quarter with the impact on this very day today not on this video but earlier this morning i hit a silver quarter in the same area so we are on the prowl with the orcs let's do it come on silver baby second find right up against these rocks it, i think somebody was chilling sitting right here and it dropped bounced down right there a 68 penny so we're in the 60s all through here that's good. Two coins, two sixties. I think we may have a decent video. All right, we got ourselves a 90, 89, should be a quarter. Or, I'm sorry, dime penny. It's right under, though, so it might not be. Usually they're 91s, but... It's only one ID off. What are you going to do? You're going to dig it. Down in that there hole. It was a penny. 1960 something or other. I want to say it's a two. It looks like a two underneath that crustiness. But I couldn't get it off. I scraped it with my nail until the pain set in. And I was like, ow. And I gave up. So we'll never know. 1960 something. On to the next. All right, that's a quarter signal, not the last one. 95 is a quarter signal. 90, 91 is a dime penny. So we'll see. We'll see what it is. Should be a quarter, but might be a silver ring. Wouldn't that be rad? I haven't found a ring out here yet. I can't believe it. All the times I've hunted this lake, I don't think I found a single ring if my memory serves me correctly. Maybe one, maybe. Well, right under that there dirt. There it was. A quarter from the 60s yet again. 1965. One year older. Would have been another silver quarter like the one I found in the impact video. Dignib it. Oh well. I know we're close. We keep at it. You don't give up the fight. There's a hot rock. You guys want to hear it? It's given a high tone, man. That is bonkers. Wow, 
I'm bound to get a little bit irritated here. 1967 penny. These need to turn into wheat pennies. And these 1965, 66, 67 dimes and quarters need to turn into 1964 or early silver. All right. I'm not going to sit here and dig a bunch of 1960 stuff all day and just be okay with it. Not going to happen. This moment of nature brought to you by the Hunter GT. It's a stinky moment of nature. You see that guy? That's a, like a stink beetle or something like that. He sticks his ass up in the air. Excuse my language. And uh, lets off quite an odor. I hit him with my quail on accident and I saw him. Oh, get away from me. You stink. You stink. Go that way. He's pretty tough. He's resilient. So, but yeah. There it is. Like some sort of stink beetle. Ooh. He's quite potent. I didn't get a direct blast or anything, but as soon as he lifted his butt up in the air, you could definitely smell it. Oh, orcs, you like to tease me, huh? You don't like to just give it to me, like the impact, like other detectors have. You like to put me on the fringe, watch me hang, and just stare and laugh. It's almost like you're pointing and laughing at me, like Nelson on The Simpsons. Ha <laughs> ha. 1967 quarter. <laughs> On to the next. All right, my buddy Javier out hunting with him today at the lake. He's got his Equinox 800. 1962 Rosie right there. So we are on a triple silver day. He's got a 62, I've got a 56, and then I have that 64 quarter as well. His is nice and shiny. Mine was nice and beat up. Nice. Good stuff. <laughs>